Hello my dears, forgive me for showing up like this, but there are days where I am just like this, looking slightly bedazzled, shall I say, or how would you say, I don't know. The point is that I wanted to clear my wardrobe to get rid of those bulky winter clothes and sort of make way for new spring style etc however today well started from yesterday the weather has turned so today is 5th of march and my intentions for clearing my wardrobe i must go on with because i'm just so fed up of wearing uh, bulky things like this jumper on jumper so i realized that i would rather layer in a different way I'm still gonna keep my fur coats for now because they can be packed last but I brought from the garage a few things that I completely forgot about and what I want to do is uh, rejuge my style for spring I have these two rails and I'm going to bring another rail from the garage here is because I have actually much more clothes Okay, so here is the rail that I was talking about. I retrieved from our extra wardrobe space that we have in the garage as well. I'm not gonna give you an excursion in the garage, unnecessary, but I need to bring all of this up and um, actually um, perhaps most likely try everything on again. So first things first, let's bring this up. definitely gonna have massive glass of water after this but let me explain at least what's happening we have this whole rail to try which mostly I mean this side has still my winter clothes that I'm wearing this pretty much I didn't wear at all from here to here obviously there's a mix of spring and kind of summer so we'll try that on as well over here behind my mirror i have more things to try on but they're also mostly summer and i also have some suits that i need to try on <coughs> excuse me so there is a lot of things to try on and of course my usual rail here at the back i need to rejuge it to take out wintery anything and also this is my in in wardrobe rail hanging my cocktail dresses and some evening dresses and outwear so things like that basically now we can see all my hanging needs this much that much here and voila and i would like to sort of slim it down pack away, store nicely some winter bits and bobs, and prep for spring, as I said. So, time is of the essence. I'm gonna change off from this knit, so definitely we can see the spring vibe is coming because I'm already feeling very hot in this knit, and I need to wash all of my wool, well, wool and knitwear and cashmere sweaters because I've abused them over the past couple of months so yeah i have my tablecloth here <laughs> from christmas i kind of chucked it in the bin so i'm doing laundry in the meantime as well how fun so if this kind of inspires you to do the same to your wardrobe please take it as a sign because the earlier the better somehow you'll be ready for spring and then summer and you'll not be feeling hectic that in a sense that you have all these clothes for specifically spring season and there's only this much transitional moments where we can wear it. What I'm talking about is, for example, this one. This coat I like very much. My mom has it. Uh, my mom got it in Budapest, if I remember correctly. But I think for me, this is a very spring, sort of beginning of summer um, coat ring coats to wear 
property, so I need to take it out, refresh it. Uh, and these are, by the way, <clears throat> oh my god. Huh. So, apart from storing my winter clothes, so winter dresses in uh, sort of this coffer protections and so on, um, look at this fancy girl with Philip Lane. I think this is Dominic's or something. So, and then I would put little sheets of RSO anti anti moth pretty much. You can put them in cupboards, you can put them anywhere, and um, they smell nice and um, protect from the the little insects that like to munch on fur and wool and other natural fabrics, which I prefer as well. Anyway, look at all this rumble. Let's move it. Okay, my dears, this is realistically the start. I'm gonna just do it. Try everything on here and there. Uh, the items that I wasn't sure about, for example, this shirt. I had it for ages. I think mom ordered this shirt for me uh, in an online magazine. I don't know ages ago and we got it in Ukraine beautifully tailored I like it very much I missed it it's cute puffy sleeves perfect for spring the stripe as well fantastic so this is why I'm so happy I'm doing it finally I know it was nearly an epic fail I'm gonna stop rumbling t-shirt this I mean shirt uh, bottom down how do they call it uh, definitely and obviously I'm not gonna wear this shirt like that because I think it deserves a skirt or something however this look is not too bad if I'm at home by myself lounging and trying things on whatnot uh, let me see if I can find a little skirt in here to potentially match the outfit because all of this I need to try on. Well, I do have this skirt, but I don't know if this will work. Potentially. And we're trying to see if the skirt also still fits me. So let's do this. Okay. This skirt is super adorable. It definitely stays. This was my mom's skirt. And as you can see, if you can see... It fits me just about right, considering that I'm wearing tights specifically for this try-on. Cute! Look at this cute little button. Yeah, definitely. Definitely adorable. It's already a little look. My goodness, we need to figure out uh, the placement of the mirror because this clearly doesn't work. I can't really see, so I'll probably need to put it back. Anyway, at least we're starting this. Bo both of these items are definitely a keeper because this is my mom's skirt. And this shirt is just adorable and fits me perfectly. And this is already cute look. Work from home, you know, just sit down, Zoom call or even pop out for a little cafe here in Montreux. So, yeah, lovely. Okay, let's move on. I'm excited that we have started. Okay, it's funny because now that I'm trying this on, it actually looks cute. Uh, next look, trying to decide if it's a keeper or not, is this shirt. I think it's made in India. It's a very sort of cute, nothing special shirt in a sense that it's simple, but the cotton is quite nice and thin so sometimes i wear it in summer so the shirt is definitely a a, a sort of keeper however <laughs> these are the trousers uh, they used to be my sister's trousers and then she passed it down to me however as you can see they're very low waist and even though they sit nicely on my bum it's got really cute z details However, and it's the make Elisabetta Franchi, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, have a little logo right here. So, very cute. However, 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 <laughs> low waist trousers for me is, is not ideal, I think. Just because of my figure, I think it slips, it cuts down the legs 
makes my torso extra long. Um, I mean, I could style it potentially if you style with high heels, etc. But these trousers, they, they don't give me the right vibe. So I will basically, by the way, I pulled out the rail here because the clothes, they need to uh, refresh themselves since they've been in the garage calf area for over a year. Some of these things I didn't wear for over a year. Anyway, let's move on. Keep it moving, keep it moving. This will be a sort of maybe. So I'll hang everything outside because everything actually needs to be railed. So that's why railed, aired. That's why I'm gonna go through this rail first. And don't forget we have this bad boy to go to. Oh, okay, okay, okay. next, 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 next. Okay. Trying on the trousers and I've put on some gloves for your entertainment and for mine. I think it's a pretty cool look. This is a top by Claude Montana. It's a Parisian designer and again got it from my sister. However, I'm trying on these trousers. So these trousers are actually tailor-made for me and I had them for over 10 years. I don't know why we don't have any light today, but nevertheless, this is a try-on, sort of rough, raw try-on because I need to make up my mind to let go of things or not. It also has a little bit of here, uh, what you call it, um, came undone, the stitching. Other than that, they fit quite nicely, although could be slightly uh, slightly more comfortable. So this is the question whether I keep it and just fix this stitch, stitch, <laughs> or um, just uh, give up on them. But at the same time, I think when you have a perfectly fitting pair of trousers, it's a keeper. Uh, unlike the ones that are hanging there um, outside on the rail, they were my sister's, but she likes the low waist. I like the high waist trousers, as you can see with this example. Okay, let's move on because um, I really had some trousers to try on. So perfect opportunity. We're doing this now. Okay, I quickly have changed to another pair of wool trousers. They're very nice material too bad you can't see on the steel seriously sometimes i try to make it look aesthetically pretty but it doesn't always work and my aim with this video is to try on with you and decide whether i keep it or not but this is a perfect example of the trouser fitting very nicely and i don't feel like i need to really um, give them up they probably would need a better clean something because you have all the fluff but otherwise the fabric is very nice and warm they are perfect for this sort of time of the year and again I don't know why I'm wearing those sandals those are from Zara by the way my little slides I collected them from Las Vegas last time. Look, you know what? I'm bringing them back home. Anyway, I love this look, even though um, it's very simple. Uh, perhaps could do with height in terms of the trouser because they're very nice with high heel situation. But uh, yeah, we'll do this styling another time. At least it's a keeper, so next. Okay, on the topic of trousers, trying on this pair. Again, I think I got it from my sister. Overall, it's nice, but a little bit tight here in the waist and also here somehow. Although I used to love these trousers, but somehow trying them on right now, I don't know if I love them as much anymore however 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 i might reconsider because it's got all the cool details here you can put this in so it is it is a pretty trouser 
and it's quite formal and elegant and it's got a very nice hue of gray um hmm, 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 hmm. i think i think i will i will keep it for a bit uh, although my style has changed ideally this but slightly oversized here i think this is more my style so yeah unlike those i've been keeping the ones that i tried here i tried these earlier uh this by the way i think it was armani fabric uh so it's very beautiful and it's fitted to me so it fits my body perfectly even though i put a little bit of weight here and there uh those stay so I think I'm gonna make a decision and let these trousers go and instead look for a better per better trouser for me, the one that I told you. Slightly slightly more oversized, I think. Silhouette, slightly more banana they're called, <laughs> I think. Let me know. Yeah. Okay, that's a perfect example of trousers to let go. If something like this happens and I'm again mind you I am wearing tights but if you already feel like that oh my goodness, sometimes they do make the best oh okay let me try to think it through oh, trying to get all the light possible anywho um this trousers <laughs> these trousers make me feel like a little saucies little sausage it do, it's not it's not complimenting anywhere anymore so again i'm wearing tights just so that i can see if i'm wearing tights and it still feels a bit tight that's a double tight moment i think it's unnecessary so in this case these have to go i wore them two bits and bobs and plus again my sister had them for some time before me, so I think it's time to just uh, uh, let go. Move on, move on. Beautiful Max Mara trousers. Probably been hanging. The color is spectacular. Aren't they just beautiful? The fabric as well. Very linen-like. I think it's linen summer spring inspired again feels a little bit tight here but not terribly here is fine I don't know it makes my tummy bulk out in a weird way and it doesn't have pockets and uh, I think it's slightly a bit too small on me now somehow uh, yeah and I could potentially sell it because again max mara yeah mm -hmm. i was looking for these trousers all over the place because they were hanging trouser upon trouser that's why i'm so happy we're doing this right now we'll definitely get rid of the smaller pair the black ones they're just this and this beautiful look at the linen i think it's not linen it's like silk my mom would know better Oh yeah, viscose, viscose, silk, yeah, beautiful, Max Mara. A little bit too small on me, so somebody might actually, of course, look at size 34. My goodness, 36, tiny. I think we need to change things up a little bit. I've tried to put up the light concoction here because we're heading steadily into the evening and I want to uncover some bits here because we have a lot to try, that's why. Oh, I don't even know if I'm gonna show you everything but at least we went through the trousers. Now let's uncover this and see what's in there. Okay, I definitely know what's this, it's a dress. Oh my goodness, look at this beautiful dress with the fur detail like this. I'm not sure it's real fur. 
could be. Anyway, it all needs to be aired out, so I will already actually take it and leave it outside on the balcony, hanging like that. Yeah, it's such a beautiful dress. Very, very sort of winter evening outfit. Love it. I'm not gonna try it on right now. I know already that I'm just gonna keep it anyway because it's just so beautiful. It's a chic dress, so it's a keeper, definitely. So off it goes on the fresh Swiss air. Beautiful day today. I mean, it's very gray. That's why I'm complaining about the light while trying to film bits and bobs for you, but it's a, it's a beautiful, day in March nevertheless and even though we have snow on the mountains uh, we know spring is on the way some way okay what do we have in here it's very heavy oh my goodness this has to go just simply straight out my mom knows exactly what it is it's a tailored dress i might try it on with you briefly now or you might have seen it and a matching coat uh the skirt and what is that oh yeah just few bits and bobs to be honest um i know that i will keep this regardless because it's just so beautiful i mean I could not possibly get rid of anything like this. Okay, let's see this. Oh my God. Because it's been in the garage all this time. And this potentially also needs to be aired. So pretty much everything needs to be aired. Yeah, these are my suits for summer at least this doesn't smell too bad but this tailor-made beautiful mom probably remembers this and this is a gorgeous suit as well so all keeping is just gonna stick them outside Ooh. seriously if anything can go weird in this vlog it's going Okay, I just wanted to quickly try this blazer to see if it still fits me. Mm, barely. Although, 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 yeah, definitely not with this t-shirt, I mean, what I think. But yeah, it's a keeper. My mom would be also going, what are you doing? Uh, it's super well made. Daniel Hector you can see the lining actually has a brand name on it interesting so it's it's beautiful fabric hand pick with my mom all the details and the buttons so for me it is all very precious it's very beautiful and uh, definitely uh, is worth giving it as many chances as it needs so lovely lovely jobly so keeper yes i'm just quickly trying on this blazer because i absolutely love it look at this detail fantastic on the lapels beautiful my sister's blazer from 80s 90s 90s i suppose so this is definitely a keeper not necessarily with this particular look i'm just enjoying the fact that i found those trousers again and they are very comfortable by the way wearing my little prada shoes that i somehow also forgot about 
in the meantime all right now i do want to try this suit because and i have a blue marine skirt to try as well the gray one so let's do that first because i do have a little doubt about the suit and the skirt however we shall see we shall see i should have called this trouser hole instead of spring clear out i just found this pair that i really wanted to try it's got this beautiful intricate detail here on the belt like sort of embroidered not embroidered how would you applicate beautiful i really like it and it's a very similar pair to the one that is my own this was my sister's but again as you can see the waist situation so they're not they're not sitting on me although i don't know this is so confusing all right let's try what i've intended to and i think after that i'm just going to keep on rolling and sorting through because uh, otherwise it will be very complicated and i can't make it aesthetically pleasing and also very good vibes um in terms of the light and so on so if i find a look that i really like i will do come back funny the light comes back and forth <laughs> i'm just rumbling here with you um all right next look all right now i do feel slightly annoyed at myself for not finding this earlier I'm trying on the blue marine skirt and it just feels so good. This is what I mean when it fits, it sits. Gorgeous. I feel like we're a little bit out of the season, but this particular look with this top somehow matching fabric, you see what I mean here? We've got a little bit of detail, like sort of fluffy woolen detail here. Ah, oh, look at this as well, flowers. Beautiful skirt, very nice and warm. Um, I feel like a librarian, sexy librarian look. Very nice. So definitely this skirt is a keeper. Uh, we know that, okay, we know that. And I love this. I, I think I could potentially go out somewhere wearing this, yeah. Mm -hmm. it with the blazer or something like this definitely will need a blazer oh by the way i also have some things in here but i think i know what it is my white coats which i need to take out to air dry otherwise i just feel like i don't want to bore you too much but i need to get it done so a little update this is mostly the rail that i know that i like definitely sort of my items you've seen blouses uh you've seen those tom ford trouser they're very much for me <laughs> november trouser i call them beautiful dress discard so most of these things here like white shirts um this skirt i need to wear it more often or so th this rail is pretty much what i'm comfortable with um things that will stay regardless of time however because there's been the garage um and the cave and this i keep on forgetting that we still have all this but mostly i will most likely keep i might sell some of the items like this thing it's just not my style the tank top style is not is not me but this is gorgeous so again um i will probably air it and take the opportunity to sell it so we have things are airing these ones are keeping anyway uh all the trousers that i've tried i'm getting rid of these and these i will try to sell maxmara and so on so I think we did a great job so far, my dear. So if you watched till this far, know that I really appreciate it because I could not move on with my vlogs or videos at all until I'm done with this little challenge that I've accepted, uh, established for myself. So blazer, let me see what I can wear as a blazer. Okay, I don't know why all of a sudden I wanted to try this outfit 
with a bl with the blazer, but here we are. Uh, is it cute? I think it's cute. I like this. Voila. Okay, so if I don't close the button, <laughs> so if I do close the button. I can't really breathe but uh, this skirt was my favorite skirt during the university times and it also you see it's got a beautiful slit at the back almost like square slit I loved it so much I mean I can still fit in but rather rather unwilling unwillingly i'd say like where would i go to wear something like this and also at the same time be comfortable and be myself so again because i can style so many things i think uh, i keep things but i don't know i no longer see this as myself especially being squashed into okay my bum looks nice but Perhaps one day I'll have an occasion where I'll need to have like this kind of skirt. But realistically, will I? Or I'm just uh, finding excuses to keep this skirt because I had it for the past 15 years. Hmm. Let's try the blazer. For the blazer, me and mom, we selected this beautiful fabric. It's really fun. My goodness. But I had it for so many years and it still fits me perfectly. There you go. I don't know if you can see the detail here, the lapels, but again, oh, it doesn't feel like me anymore. Oh, if I had to squeeze into this. Yeah, unfortunately, one has to take, at some point, a very important decision and say, this, it doesn't even, wait, let me see, like a word if I do this, like if I shrug, let's do the atlas shrugged, uh, I'll just break it. Basically, it's a size small. Trend on this beautiful dress by Blue Marine. Got it from my sister years ago and I used to like it very much because it was sort of professional and cool and I thought, you know, it's a sort of black dress that one should always have. However, hmm, I'm not sure anymore it represents me um, unless I sit and work at the desk and I don't know, it's just like, where would you wear a dress where you have to be sleeveless like that, but at the same time you sort of have to wear tights because this dress does not have lining. So, and it's blue marine. And you can see here, for example, that it just stretches slightly, ever so slightly, which is not a great look because it almost looks like the dress is small on me, otherwise it fits me perfectly, actually, so we'll see. It's sort of an occasion wear a dress, but I don't know if I have occasions where I want to wear something like this. Um, yeah, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Oh, my battery is flashing, fantastic. On the topic of dresses. I know we barely have any light at all. And somehow my influencer concoction doesn't really work. However, this is the dress that I had tailor made for me. We designed it with my mom. We got this cute puff sleeves with polka dots, the checkered vibe of the, almost feels like a raincoat vibe. We got a little cute pocket here. Oh, I love it. I really like this dress. And for me, this dress is timeless. So I'm trying to 
close it for a second or not. Okay, it's funny because this dress is a prime example and the difference between the dress we tried before. Whereas I feel like this dress is more me and hold on, oh my god, oh my god. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness gracious me, aren't they just perfect companions also with the shoes that I'm wearing now, I love it, you can see into it much or just a little bit more, perfect. Oh my goodness, how cute is this? Please, anyone else has seen this? The shoes with a little bit of leopard print and LV monogram just sort of blends it in. I love this look. Out of all the looks we tried, I found back my trousers and I love this dress again and I'm looking forward to wear it in summer. We have sort of pre-sorted. I did put out some more dresses and blazers that are definitely keepers like that. Uh, you've seen those if you've been on my channel long enough. So keeping all those, but from here, this is where I draw the line. So, and we've tried it on and we just know. Sybil, enough is enough. So yeah, my battery is flashing. I'm gonna continue trying this on so that tomorrow I can either show you some progress or perhaps leave it leave it uh, um, as it is because I don't know how much footage I have filmed. There will be a part two nevertheless, so perhaps I will just do that. But anyway, if this is inspiring for you to clear out your wardrobe ready for spring, summer, get rid of some things that are no longer you and no longer fit your personality, lifestyle, etc. Because this has inspired me. So this real keep, this we're still trying on, but mostly I know this is, this is my things. Yeah. Okay, my dears, I know I ran out of battery and I was telling you something which currently I cannot remember. However, however, I'm persevering. It's now evening time and we have a beautiful church bells announcing that it's evening. Voila, nice and crisp. And I brought in the rail. I'm progressing nicely, so I have tried this suit as well and even though I used to like it it's from a make the hurry how do you call it doesn't really want to focus on anything today the hurry um very very I used to like this blazer and trouser combination but unfortunately the time has come to give up however I'm trying out another the hurry sort of two piece that I used to wear when I worked at the school and I got it for summer and for some time I thought that I would not be able to style something like this as to my personal taste now. Um, however, I quite like it. I think for the upcoming spring summer this would be a very nice little outfit sort of smart casual vibes just now trying with the boots i think it's pretty cool so um good on me for trying to continue <laughs> to try everything on because i was ready to give this up so the rail looks slightly better i have summary uh, pieces left and i have uh, I'll probably try this again, but most likely will keep it because I just like this. And uh, yeah, I've uncovered those two beauties. I think it was Armani fabric with Escada, with Escada beautiful buttons, golden detail, very much marine inspired. So voila, but. I don't think I need to try this on. I'll probably need to take it to dry cleaners. So, so far I'm very pleased and now I'm rejuging 
this and voila I just wanted to pop in here as a final nerdy little hello again and um, sorry I don't know why I'm speaking so low I feel like I'm almost whispering on the camera like telling you but yeah I will try uh, another two suits that I have just just why not the color is just so beautiful and really inspiring for spring summer this you've seen uh, already before so I can already probably put it in my evening dresses and sort of I decided to keep sort of evening dresses however that doesn't make sense um, yeah this is more evening um, evening and wintery vibes so like sort of things um, I will see because it's a bit too early for summer and I need to keep summer somewhere because otherwise this rail will get busy anyway I'll get back to you on this but you've seen this dress before by lovely Gucci and it's good in my size now I know I'm definitely more size 40 than 38 shall we try this on oh. Oof, this is not gonna be easy I'm trying on now this beautiful coat how incredible is this detail on the fabric but it feels very very tight on me it feels like it's a little bit small I don't know if you can see it from from there I don't know it's not too bad hold on I'm just gonna try to bring the light a little bit not too bad Hmm. I feel a little bit tight so obviously it's been over 20 years that I have this coat and it does feel tight so unfortunately we might have to say bye to this beauty I'm gonna try to sell it I mean I imagine that the dress would be just the same I mean it's very very beautiful look at all the detailing Tailor made again for me, but it was tailor made for me back in 2007, something like this, 2006, 2007. So, yeah, I guess I grew up since the past 20 years. Let me try the dress on. Okay, I feel like it's a little miracle because the dress still fits nicely, and to be fair, I take it back with regards to this coat because it doesn't have to be I don't have to wear layers under it I could just wear this dress oh my goodness look how beautiful it looks together I don't know why but I really like this cute outfit fantastic it's both spring like could definitely go out like this absolutely and these gloves my dears can you see what i see they somehow weirdly enough i don't know how is this working right now but they do work with this outfit <gasps> cute 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 oh, i like it i'm so happy we're trying this on because to be fair there was a moment where i gave up on some trousers now we found the trousers i've tried all of these suits, um, some of them you've seen. I tried the dress; it was gonna, it's gonna be fantastic with the belt. These I'm giving up because either too small or out of my personal vibe. But things like this, I think this is like almost my heirloom piece in the sense that this dress is timeless. And let me try it with the jacket. Hold on. Basically. Take the coat. Look at all the detail. And wow, I I can see that it goes really well. The colors. Wow. And I was trying to find something to match these gloves, but it's been all around me. So just like that, over the shoulder, and voila. <laughs> Mm. 
I love this. I think I'm gonna take a screenshot and leave it as a thumbnail. If it works. So, love it. And do forgive me for showing up like this natural, no makeup, but at least I showered. I did my hair today. And I had a lovely, lovely time doing this with you. I know, I don't even know how long this video will be, but I'm gonna try to push it a little bit more so we have a clear rail and sort of spring inspo as well. And I need to put some lip balm. But how excited that we found this almost perfect matchy-matchy situation with the colors and everything. I think it works very nicely. Lovely. Mm -hmm. I thought while I'm trying on these bits and bobs on the rail, I'll try the dress. Look at all the details. Fantastic. So definitely a keeper. Again, perfect silhouette. I like the golden details and this also satiny palette here or how do you call this? I need to lapels. Oh, my mom would know. But yeah, I think this is very nice. Winter inspired. But at the same could be still worn, I think, in March if styled properly. But um, yeah, definitely a sort of palatial occasion. But it's snug in here, I must admit. It's very, very um, fit on me. So I would not be able to reach out too much. But then I guess you should be acting like a lady. Like you don't need to be doing all these stances. So perhaps it's good enough. So we'll see. Definitely keeping it. All right.